Hello everybody, this is Ben with another Minecraft video. Today I wanted to show off my design for a boat elevator uh, using the new additions to the game. This elevator is based on a minecart design by uh, Doc and the guys at uh, LJ server. So, uh, see how it works. So you stand on this pressure plate, you get a boat, and you slowly rise to the top. Now, the height of this uh, elevator is determined by how long you can hold your breath. Uh, so, this is kind of cutting it close. At the top here, your boat is broken by this cactus, collected, and put in a dispenser down here. I'm going to go to creative for a second. This uh, goes to a dispenser here, and gets shot down there where it is collected and put back in the system for you. So let's see if we can fall this down. There you go. So, get shot down and collected by a array of hoppers and fed back into your central dispenser. Uh, this is uh, very consistent. I have not had a problem with it uh, failing to work. Um, And as you can see, it isn't all that resource intensive. So, uh, let's go build one over here. I have picked out this spot to build my elevator. So, first you want to put in a upward facing dispenser. A dispenser, not a dropper. A dispenser will dispense the boat as an entity, while the dropper will simply drop the item, which we don't want. Next you want to block off uh, water from spreading out over everything. Uh, you can use half slabs. I'm going to use pressure plates for this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. I also make it a bit larger than I need to, simply because I like having a uh, kind of a fountain look to it. Okay. So next we're going to set up where we want to put our pressure plate. Put it here. Okay, now I'm going to uh, dig out below and set up uh, wiring. Below our dispenser, we put a block and a torch. Below our pressure plate, we put a block and a torch on the side. So we need some redstone. We'll put redstone on top and then a uh, line of redstone leading to this block, so this should be off normally. To test that out by going up here, putting an item, let's put some potatoes. And there we go. Very good. Next we have to go up to the top and put in the water source. So technically you can make your elevator any height you want, but practically after about 45 blocks you run out of air. So I thought about putting a upward facing dispenser under the uh, pressure plate with a respiratory helmet in there. This one doesn't have respiratory, but a respiratory helmet. And then when you activate your boat, you would get the helmet. And then you could have a longer or higher uh, elevator. 
Uh, that turned out to be too complicated. It's just, it's hard to get the boat into one dispenser and the uh, helmet into a, a different one. So uh, maybe that's a project you want to figure out. Okay, so now we have our, uh, now we put a boat in the dispenser because we want to uh, figure out the direction. So, from my experience, these boats always fall out towards the east, but I'm not sure if that's a rule that's always constant or whether that changes. So, you should try this in, before you build anything further. So you want to just ride the boat and see what direction you come out on. So this is the east. You can see up uh, in the F bar, or the F, the F row there. So this is where we want to build our array of hoppers, and we also want to build our cactus on top. Uh, remove the source block uh, to avoid flooding the basement, but while that cleans out, I can do this area here. So you want an array of nine pistons, or pistons, nine hoppers. Uh, each feeding into the center hopper here. Now with hoppers, the hopper will point at whatever base you're pointing at when you uh, put the hopper down, so that's an easy way to remember. Or that's an easy way to remember how to place them. So you just want to point out whatever face you want to connect to. And uh, we get to go. And we are just going to connect this back up here. And we want to replace that pressure switch we just broke. Pressure plate we just broke. And there you go. So now when we uh, take, when we sh um, fire the boat down from the top, Uh, it will be collected by this array of hoppers and be uh, funneled back into your main dispenser for reuse. Now you can cover these hoppers with pressure plates. If you do that you want to use these heavy pressure plates. Oops, sorry now. You can't use those because they trigger. You want to use your stone pressure plates because these will not trigger with items. You can also use half slabs. Which will let uh, items pass through. Interestingly enough, uh, soul sand. Which is... Soul sand. So sand also allows items through. Some people say it's because it's not a full block. It's slightly less than a full block, but I don't know. Because farmland isn't a full block, but as far as I know, farmland doesn't uh, allow items to pass through. Uh, tools. So, I don't know whether that has anything to do with being a full block or not, maybe. Anyway, so you can use soul sand or a uh, half slab to cover those, or a stone pressure plate, or you can just leave them as they are. 
Okay, I'm going to put the water source back, and we're going to go head up to the top and work up there. I decided to go with a quartz theme for this uh, elevator, so I replaced the pressure plates with quartz half slabs and half slab the uh, array of dispensers. So you want to outline this with uh, your block of choice. Side, it's incorrect. Okay. Now you want to put a downward facing dispenser or dropper here, and you want to put sand on top of it. You're going to put your uh, cactus on there, and then I like to put a half slab on the cactus just to keep it from growing and so that you don't damage yourself while walking into it. Next, we want to put two dispensers, one or two hoppers, one here, one here. So that when the boat is broken by the cactus, it is grabbed by the hopper and deposited here. Next, what I do is, these suspensers are pretty random where they'll drop things. And I like to get it on this 3x3 three three area, so I like to put a collar around this dispenser. which uh, keeps it from going too far out of that area. And finally, we want to be able to trigger this dispenser. I normally just use a pressure plate and some redstone dust, and that should trigger it. Very good. You could have this uh, pressure plate be at the exit of for this uh, room, so that uh, you always trigger it when you leave. So now that that's done, we can test it out and see if it works. Dispense is above for us. We walk. Now the reason why this works is because the dispenser, even though it's pointed straight up actually dispenses the bowed off-center. So that's why it will favor one direction every time. Okay, so let's change back to uh, Creative. And we can see down here that the boat was captured. If we triggered this pressure plate, jump down. You can see it landing on the pressure plate and getting pulled back into the system. So that's the uh, boat elevator. A very inexpensive design for your survival world. I hope this video has inspired you to build your own and uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.